Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and it is a blessing to be with all of you here today. Anger and jealousy is a feeling we all know so well. And it's amazing the things that make us jealous. I didn't get the promotion, but my coworker did. Neighbor has a newer and bigger truck than I do. They got more likes on their posts than I did. And we see it more often within our families, especially siblings. Ever heard the term sibling rivalry? Oh, it's real. And in Genesis 4, it tells us the story of the ultimate sibling rivalry and why it is important that we don't hold on to anger and jealousy in our hearts. Because as we're going to learn, it is waiting to control us. Now, it's a story of two brothers, Cain and Abel. Abel was a sheep herder and Cain was a farmer. And they both presented offerings to God. The Lord was pleased with Abel's offering. However, he was displeased with Cain's offering. So Cain responded with anger and jealousy towards his brother. And God warned Cain, and he's warning us today of the consequences of holding on to anger and jealousy. Listen to what he says in Genesis 4, uh, verses 6 and 7. He says this, Why are you so angry, the Lord asked Cain? Why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. But you must subdue it and be its master. Unfortunately, this story has a tragic ending because Cain disobeys God and allowed his anger and jealousy to control him. And he took the life of his brother. As followers of Jesus Christ, we aren't exempt from feeling anger or jealousy. That is what we'll continue to battle with each and every single day. But the Lord is saying when those feelings arise in us, and they will, you don't have to hold on to them as long as we do what is right by repenting and allowing his spirit to rule over our hearts, to rule over anger and to rule over je jealousy. So it doesn't control us. But if we refuse to repent and do what is right, he is saying, watch out because sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. So the next time those pesty feelings of anger and jealousy arise in us, let's do the right thing by repenting and allowing his spirit to lead us in love, joy, and his peace and allow his spirit to rule in our hearts. God bless you and have a wonderful day.